Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is cheese. So today on Weird Stuff in a Can we've got processed cheese from Tropical Sun brand. Okay, it says loved in the Caribbean and especially popular at Easter, Tropical Sun processed cheese is best served on a warmed slice of spiced bun. It's also great in a grilled sandwich or melted on top of a burger on a grill. A good source of protein, it can also be eaten as part of a low carb diet. Enjoy. For some mouth watering recipes, visit tropicalsunfoods.com. Well, we'll have a look at that and maybe I'll put a screenshot or two on the video if something interesting pops up. Ingredients, cheese, 63%. Water, butter, emulsifying salts, which is polyphosphates, calcium phosphates, sodium phosphate, whey powder from milk, salt, colour, which is paprika extract and riboflavin. So it says to open, hold can in centre, grip tab and pull back slowly. Storage, keep refrigerated after opening. Distributed in the United Kingdom by Specialist Foods, blah, blah, blah. Okay, right, that's probably enough waffle about that. I think we should open this up and have a look. So usually with these pull tab cans, I would use a can opener because I'm not, really just not fond of pull tab cans. But I think we'll probably get away with this one because I'm not expecting this to be wet inside. The only thing is I'm thinking that if I pull off the tab it does leave a tiny little rim there which might make it quite difficult to extract the cheese in one piece out of the tin. So I think maybe on reflection, well we'll have a go, we'll see what happens. I'm going to open it with a can opener. You can express your hate in the comments if you think that's the wrong thing to do. Okay so there we go, let's open up and have a look. Oh dear, okay. Well, interesting bit of a void there. There is a block of quite rubbery processed cheese. It does look very much like processed cheese that you might find in slice form in the chill cabinet, but let's have a sniff. It smells very, very mildly cheesy, I suppose. Yeah, it smells like cheese sauce, maybe, actually. Might cook like, a, like a cooked sort of macaroni cheese sauce, maybe. Let's See if we can get it out in one piece or something like that. It does not want to come out. Maybe we just need to let some air into the middle. Let's try that. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. There we go. Well, what a magnificent sight. So let's not waste any of that. So there it is. That is processed cheese from a can. Now, I'm a big fan of cheese. I am not a big fan of processed cheese. However, we're going to give this a try as is. And then we will try and see if we can do something that's at least a little bit faithful to the serving suggestion that's on the can, which is spiced bun. I don't know exactly what spiced bun they're talking about, a Caribbean spiced bun of some sort I imagine. But since they're talking about Easter, I'm going to assume, perhaps wrongly, that that's something like a hot cross bun. So it's a kind of sweet bun that's got cinnamon and maybe allspice and a few other spices in it. So I might have something that I can use that will approximate that. So texture is very weirdly rubbery but then breaks like I don't like modelling clay or something like that. Anyway, let's have a little taste. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Tastes exactly like the processed cheese slices you get in the supermarket. Um, kind of very cooked cheese taste. Actually quite a bit cheesier, I would say. That is a little bit cheesier than your typical cheese food slices that you find in the supermarket. And so as a result, actually that's quite nice. Like I say, I'm not a big fan of processed cheese. The texture is weird, weirdly rubbery and then nothingy. But this actually has quite a nice, almost like mature cheddar taste to it. So perhaps a good example of its type. Anyway, I think the thing to do now is I'll take this away 
and we'll have some cheese on toast made with this and I'll have a slice on some sort of warm spiced bread if I can find a piece. So back in a moment. Okay, so back from the kitchen with processed cheese on toast with capers, otherwise it'll just be grilled cheese. And some on a warm slice of spiced loaf, which is about as close as I think I can come to a Caribbean spiced bun, at least for now. So let's give this a try first. Yeah, you know what, that's all right. I may actually drop some of my cynicism about this processed cheese product. Before we started, I was deeply skeptical that this would be nice at all. But actually, it's not very much like cheese, but it's okay. Okay, so let's try this cheese melted onto a slice of toast. Okay, here we do run into one of the problems I have with processed cheese, which is when it's melted, it's a lot like glue and it just sticks all over your teeth. I don't know if some people like that. I don't hate that, but it, I do find it a bit weird and slightly unpleasant. So yeah, all in all, I think I prefer that as it is, sliced probably in a sandwich without it melting too much. And I don't know whether I've got that even slightly right here on that spiced loaf. But this is a kind of hot cross bun type of recipe. So it's a sweet spiced bread with raisins in it. And it actually goes quite well with that. Hmm. Yeah, that's all right. So all in all, that was just better than I expected. So there we go. That's processed cheese from Tropical Sun. Weird stuff in a can on Atomic Shrimp. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.